Dun, 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 dun. Here's the story of a lovely lady. No? Yeah. Uh, we're bringing... <laughs> <laughs> this is the intro. Here we go! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> it's home Corbin. I'm Rick. And today we are joined by uh, two very special guests uh, that who we've done one other review with in Podosin. We have Jimmy and Dennis from the Jimmy Cage channel. Say hello. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. Happy and, to be here. And uh, today we are reviewing a 1991 film. A, it's called Thalapathy. Is that how you pronounce that? Thalapathy? Yes. Oh, I think okay. so. I don't think you corbinized it. I think ah, right. bummer. And uh, this is uh, actually Rick and our first uh, Rajnikanth film. I don't know how many you guys have watched. How many? How many Rajnikanth films? Superstar. I Rajnikanth. think three. Yes. Three. Yeah. We we've watched yeah. Entiran, Two Point and Peta. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So this is our first uh, uh, introduction. Well, we've seen a bunch of his songs and and. And trailers and stuff like that, um, and we know him right. as superstar Rajnikanth. Um, but today we are re reviewing, uh, I think it's like our fifth or sixth Mani Ratnam film, uh, and I know you guys have reviewed probably most of his his work as well. Um, but the 1991 film Thadapathy, directed and written, and I believe a bunch of other stuff by Mani Ratnam, uh, composed by Raja Sir, uh, and then starring Rajnikanth Mamuti. Uh, you're gonna have to help me with these other names. Shum, Ar Arvind Swami, Arvind Shabana. Swami, Shabana, Amrish Puri, yeah, Shabana. Yeah. So obviously a bunch of people. Um, so this is gonna be a spoiler review. Uh, it came out 30 years ago. So uh, if you haven't seen it, it was on Amazon for us here in the United States. I don't know where it was for you guys. In uh, it was a little bit uh, difficult for us to find. Oh really? <laughs> because because uh, I I thought that you can just stream it on Amazon Prime, but you have to uh, rent it. Yeah, it's not included, and then we can't really use a VPN for that, so it didn't work. We had to watch it at another place, and I think the quality for us was maybe even worse than on oh, Amazon no. Prime. It yeah, it was pretty pretty bad. It wasn't it wasn't a great quality on Amazon either, which was uh, yeah. unfortunate. I just assumed that was. Because it's almost it's thirty something years old, but uh, yeah. So uh, obviously, spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back unless you'd like to be spoiled. And for, usually, I ask Rick, but you are our guest, so I will ask uh, Dennis. Uh, what did you think of the film? Your your first initial thoughts. <laughs> uh, my first initial thoughts are that I didn't like it as much as the other Mani Ratnam movies that I already know. Mm -hmm. well, not all of them, but. Maybe it's it's. I, I think we have seen seven of his movies by now, and I think it's somewhere right up in the middle for me. Yeah. I I liked it, but it's definitely maybe a bit too raw for me. It's too. Mm. It's very jumpy from one place to the next. It's very hard cuts and edits, and maybe a bit too long and maybe a bit too dramatic. But I li I liked it, but it's not my favorite money that now. Yeah, Jimmy. <clears throat> yeah, I would echo that. Um, I would also blame it a lot on the quality of the print that we watched. Also, the sound mm. quality wasn't that great. So I always try to imagine what the movie must feel like in a big cinema with awesome 35 millimeter quality. Yeah. So I give it a little bit uh, benefit of the doubt. And um, overall, I, I liked it quite a bit, I have to say. Um, I thought the, the story was quite epic. I liked the character, the, the protagonist of Surya. I think he's a great character and he was uh, very well portrayed by Berachnikant. And... Um, I liked a lot of the movie. I have some some issues with the antagonist. I think it has a pretty weak antagonist, mm. which is kind of strange because normally Amrish Puri is a, is a great actor to portray bad guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought he was kind of underwritten. But overall, I enjoyed the movie quite a bit. I liked the music. I liked the camera work by, by um, Sandro Sivan. This was the first collaboration of the two. And I think from there on, they worked uh, together a lot. But I also liked movies like Roja and Bombay and mm -hmm. Irova more than this one. Yeah. Rick? Yeah, interesting. I actually liked this a lot. Um, yeah. I, yeah, and I, I hope somebody would see this film who's in the circle of influence that does film restoration. 
Yeah. Because I think a lot of the problem with the visual is the fact that this has just decayed over the years and has For not sure. been taken really good yeah. care of. I mean, thankfully, we've got this version in digital, so it won't decay anymore. Mm -hmm. But if somebody could get to the original film and do some restoration and some color correction, it would make a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, but as far as overall story, uh, overall enjoyment of the film i liked the rough edges on it uh, i thought they matched the rough nature of the character the primary character that's portrayed by um rajnikov mm -hmm. as well as i thought i, I agree completely the story is a, a very epic story it's very compelling it, it delves into nature versus nurture it delves into uh the differences of abandonment and and being cast and the fact that you're dark uh, and the issues is particularly the nature versus nurture mm -hmm. um i thought i thought everything that he did with his directing choices were done in a way that were intentional like even even choosing to do slow motion sequences for the fight sequences uh any at any time there was something that i saw a flaw in i, I kind of was apologetic in the same way i'm apologetic for tarantino's early films mm. And and this is one of you know the earlier kind of films. And I gotta say, we mentioned this before, Corbin, in the in the music video we saw from the film. But I, I am completely entranced by Shobana's portrayal. Uh, yeah. She is for me to this film what Alia was for Gully Boy. I kept waiting gotcha. for her to appear on the screen again. So yeah, for sure. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. I I probably echo a bunch of. All of your stuff, I enjoyed it. It was definitely a mixed bag for me, I think, but I do agree. I think most of it was technical. I did notice a lot of editing issues with this film. The fact that it was like, you want to get into what they're portraying, and then they literally just cut to another scene, and it like mm -hmm. takes you out of it. Um, but obviously, I, I, I chalked a lot of that up to the um, the how old the film is. Um, even though we have seen films that are almost this old that do have a better quality to them. I don't like, I don't know if it's what Rick said. It's just, they didn't keep up with this film. Um, and some of the stuff like that, you could definitely tell the earlier work of Mani Rottenham as opposed to, we've seen, obviously I love Bombay and, and, and Roja and, um, obviously Dilse is way down the line. Um, and so you can't really compare the technological stuff of that film to this film. Um, but I liked even though there was like a quality issue, I loved what the cinematographer did with what he had. I thought there were some extremely gorgeous shots in this. Rajnikanth exceeded my expectations. I wasn't expecting a lot just because I know he's not known for being a thespian. He's more of a, he's a superstar. Um, but that's what I heard about this film before we went into it, which is why I wanted to start with. This is one of his better performances. And so I thought he did really well. I loved all the ladies I thought Mamoudi did well. I do agree if you're talking about the um, the protagonist that just kind of showed up every once in a while. That <laughs> that I at, at, towards the end I almost forgot he was in the film, uh, yeah. and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I did. I know this is based off, I believe, a poem. Uh, their relationship. I don't know. I don't know if you know what it, it was called. It's 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 based on the epic Indian tale Mahabharata. Yeah, I think is the name. Yeah, I think that's but what it I was. But I only learned that after watching the movie. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, there. Too. There were certain, uh, like the end, I don't know if I loved, and I did hear a rumor that the end is not the original ending of this film. <laughs> Oh, really? um, so you got you guys could tell me in the comments but I did read a bunch of different stuff there's not just one source that said originally Rajnikanth was he died and Mamoudi lived but the audience mm. did not like that and so they changed the ending yeah. oh, to okay. uh, for, okay. for the audience um, you guys could tell I, me if that's I, I, true <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Please, please tell us in the comments yeah. because I also I also read that. But then on Wikipedia, I read that Mani Ratnam always had in mind Surya surviving because he thought he had such a hard life and he mm. wanted to give the character a little bit more of an happy ending. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by the end because after half the movie, I thought, okay, Surya will probably end up dead at the end. Yeah, it kind of reminded me w right. with the two brothers, like movies like Mother India or Diva. Mm -hmm. And in Diva, spoiler alert. I yeah. have a chance character also dies so i was prepared for that and then when it didn't happen i was like hey that's a that's a nice little twist and then we yeah. get this this epic little uh, revenge uh, finale which was pretty awesome i thought it's yeah i did driver style almost yeah i did mm. I, I, good comparison go ahead yeah. it reminded me of taxi driver the way that he um, goes to the house and just shoots everybody and it's and with all the blood movies the movie has these outbursts of violence which are in mind and he cuts the the arm off of one i loved it officer <laughs> yes and he shoots everybody in the head and it's, it's really mm -hmm. it's 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 pretty gruesome yeah when, it, when it's 
it uses the violence. It's, it's pretty gruesome, yes. Yeah. Um, I was surprised. <laughs> that, that was one of my favorite parts of the film. Uh, let's talk about the acting. Like I said, uh, Roshan and Kant, I saw it, did a, a, a really good job. I thought his strongest perform, um, parts were actually when he was being more subtle as opposed to the big outbursts mm -hmm. he had. I thought he was a pretty natural actor most of the time. Uh, and so I was really? quite I was quite surprised because I was expecting I don't want to say Salman Khan obviously, but like I was expecting something <laughs> a lot bigger in terms of just well, I'm yeah. going to get I'm going to get trolled in the comments for that. I know it. But uh <laughs> I I didn't have I didn't have a ton of expectations. So he he definitely exceeded my expectations as well did all the ladies. So I don't know what you guys thought. Yeah, it was it was the same for me. I think Mani Ratnam uh, had in mind to to make a a little bit more realistic movie with Rajnikanth. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is that we haven't seen anything with Rajnikanth prior to this movie, yeah. so we haven't seen his big superstar uh, movies. Um, but I thought that the movie was kind of a, a nice mixture of masala type movie with songs and love and yeah. um, the mother who's crying for the lost son and stuff like that. But also there, there's more depth to it, and I thought that Rajnikan did a pretty, pretty remarkable job. Especially for example, the, the scene in the temple where he's praying and his mother is praying next to him, and yeah. they are both looking to the back when the when the train is coming by, and they, at that point they don't know each other, and that, that was a beautiful scene. Or also when he learns about his mother from her new husband at the, I think it was at the beach. There was this sunset in the background, also beautiful, beautiful camera work in that scene. Yeah. And um, yeah, I liked a lot of those quieter moments with him. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I'd agree. Yes. Rajnikant is, yes, some of these, uh, some, some very quiet moments where he's just monologuing his way through and telling about his, uh, his life and his upbringing and how his mother dumped him. And um, <laughs> it's pretty great. I was, I, was, I, was, I was surprised by that too, because we only know him from yeah, the, those movies who are maybe two or three years old. And yeah. he's an older man now. He's 41 in this one. Yeah. He plays a 32 year old, I think is. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, in, yeah. In, in 2.0, he's already, I mean, how old is he now? I'm, I'm 70. Five, I think he's, he's 70. Yeah, 70 he's, yes. Yeah. And you can, you can, you can see it a bit that he's, that he's, that he's a bit, a bit older now, but yeah. here uh, I was surprised that he gets, gets this, gets this, this seriousness out of him. I, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I too was impressed with how, pretty grounded every single actor was in the film everybody yeah. was very grounded which which oftentimes with a film that has a lot of action and we we've discovered a lot with south indian films too there's a style to acting sometimes that i've relegated toward being overacting and we get a lot of comments that say no if you've been to the region this is really the way they behave it was one of my primary gripes i had with super deluxe because it felt such uh overacting at times and I didn't get any of that. I felt everybody was really grounded. There's definitely a level of this for me that's that's subjective because I've had a recent uh, healing and relationship with my my mother. Mm. So the whole healing aspect of him being with his mom, when he says to her at the one point when he says, I just can't stop calling you mom, mm. was very, for me, uh, I don't expect someone else to have that impact, but there's as is the, often the case with movies, these providential timings when they come into your life that cause you to like them more than others might, I think yeah. that's a huge contributor for me. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah, and and what, who you were talking about as well, the, um, I, I loved her. I th we can talk about uh, her and Mamudi. Um, Sub Subana, right? Yes. Yeah, this is our first film of hers. We've seen her in, in songs. Uh, sorry. My mom. And she's got my, one heck of a resume, man. Sorry, my mom just called me. Uh, <laughs> Perfect time. Um, but no. Tell her, uh, tell her, tell her I'll be over. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal, so don't don't uh, don't 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 look, don't look into this. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought she did really well. I actually wanted her a lot more in this film. I wanted I wanted to be able to explore her. I think y'all have seen more films of hers uh, than, than we have. Because uh, the one with... She's got a huge resume. Um, the one where she's the, the demon-possessed one, I believe you guys have yes. seen. Yeah, right? yeah. That's, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's excellent in that one. Yeah. I want to I wanna see a lot more of her because I feel like she was almost underutilized sometimes in this. And she, I thought she did a really good job. Yeah. But it's just I wish she was in it more. Uh, I was actually real 
sad when she, it was like, all right, this is just cut and dry, which actually surprised me. I was like, I thought they were going to end up together. So this film mm. actually did surprise me quite a bit. Um, and so I did appreciate that. But I thought she did well. I thought Mamoudi did a good job as well uh, in, in his role. Um, but I don't know what you guys thought about those two. Um, yes. I, I like, I like Mam Mamouti. I like Mamouti uh, very much. I'm... I'm, I was almost uh, a bit disappointed that he's not the villain of his story because Mamuti has this, he has this, this, this villainy presence if he wants to. We have seen a few of his older movies by now, end of the 70s, 80s movies. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just his face. He has the, the perfect face for, to, be a, to be a villain. Yeah. yeah. But I was surprised how, how fast they got into this friendship between the two. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. He's he, he's he's also great, yeah. But I think just like you said, that Shobana is probably a bit underutilized. She's yeah. she's she's the the female figure in the. I think it's it's not even the first half you could say because she's she's getting into the background after maybe forty minutes or so, which is yeah. which is kind of sad because she's she's really good. Um, but yeah, yeah, she doesn't get enough time. Yeah, but yeah, for sure. One of the primary things for me, like back to Money Rotman's direction. Um, there was a moment I noticed, and I found a lot of these moments, which is what was made me so forgiving of things that were choppy or uh, other flaws. There's a moment when uh, Surya's mom is having a conversation with the the dad, right? And he's she is realizing who Surya actually is, that this is her son. And he hasn't said anything, but he knew. And I just happened to pause the movie in that moment because I got a phone call. And when I looked back at the screen, I saw the way he framed the shot. Mm -hmm. And he framed the shot, and he did this in several places because I started looking for it. He framed the shot so that he not only got a close-up on the, the, the husband, but her reflection was framed perfectly in both lenses of his glasses. Mm -hmm. and, and he did that in several instances. He did it again when Surya is talking to him and he's wearing his glasses and he had a close-up tight shot on him and you could see Surya perfectly in both reflections on the glasses. And I thought, how can I, how can I flaw a guy who's paying that close of attention yeah. to, to try to get imagery for us? Yeah. Sounds like I should have paid more attention to. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think our version, in our version it wasn't Maybe I, Yeah, it wasn't possible to see this in the version that we saw. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I bet. That was one of my favorite parts of the film was the cinematography throughout. Even though, even on Amazon, it was a not a great quality uh, picture that that we had. Um, even, even though maybe I had a, I had it on my fifty five inch screen, so obviously maybe that helped a little bit. But like the fact that even in there, you could tell how how much uh, care he took in his shots and how most of them were extremely cinematic. And that was one yeah. of my favorite parts of the film even though like the quality was not great uh or or the um the editing was i think probably the biggest uh one of the biggest drawbacks of the film uh in terms of uh me not not loving the film is just because i think i probably could have if they would have let me stay in some of these moments even more it's just like they'll this big emotional moment and then there's a yeah. cut to another scene and i'm like oh okay we're here uh yeah <laughs> It was it was also a bit crazy how fast some uh, story some plot points were yeah. were gone through because they like you said it's so it's it's the, the editing is so so uh, raw and quick in many mm -hmm. points that we have in one scene Devaraj is arrested the next <laughs> scene he's beaten up yeah. the mm -hmm. next scene he's the riots on the street yeah. and in the fourth <laughs> scene we see he's free again and Surya yeah. kills the traitor it's all it's all done in one minute and yeah yes it's crazy yeah it, it was yeah. fast sometimes it was too much for me it's up, it's <laughs> four, four scenes that tell everything and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jimmy i i want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the songs and um, yeah I think the, the heart of the movie is probably the, this friendship between Surya and Deva. Yeah. And I, I loved, I think it's probably the last song. It's this uh, celebration when they are for once happy. I think when, when Deva is uh, becoming, a, uh, becoming a father. Yeah. And it's this uh, celebration outside and they are just uh, having this, this dance party. And it's a super awesome song. And then, of course, the editing, like you said, is rather quick. And I think it's only five minutes later and uh, the wife is losing a child. But yeah. uh, the song and dance sequence was was so much fun, and I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I also want to point out the two things. When we've mentioned him a couple times, but Arvind Swami, I thought I thought was very solid as Surya's brother, yeah, yeah. Um, Arjun. And then I was I didn't remember that he was in this, but I was really happy to see uh, the legend Amrish Puri in this. Yeah, um, I, I just. He's I, got such a great screen presence. It was I was so happy to see that he was in, and I thought he, like everyone else, I just thought the ensemble did a great job. He was definitely underutilized for sure. That was yes. uh, that was that was one of the big because, like like I said, right at the end, he came back in because he was supposed mm -hmm. to be this the one that kills him, and I'm like, oh, I completely forgot that you were in this film. Like, <laughs> you really don't you really don't feel this this um, animosity against mm -hmm. against this villain and yeah. He's three. Yeah. I think that he's three times he's in the movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and then yeah. you're supposed you're supposed to feel something or feel this this raw violence yeah. at the end, which is yeah. there. But he's not the he's not the villain. He's just some guy. Who yeah. Really know. yeah. But I have I, to I'd say, love, uh, supposed to be the go villain, ahead, Jimmy. Yes. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, we're, we're, I'm talking about another character. This. Um, I think the wife of Ramana, the, the guy who is getting killed at the beginning, she's also only in the movie in a few scenes, but her character totally worked for me. I thought this was really, really a tragic side storyline that, that Surya is uh, marrying her. And I really enjoyed this whole um, dynamic between the little girl, between uh, Surya mm. and um, and her, her daughter. And I liked how Surya was um, completely open about his past and about his feelings towards that daughter, but not really to to anyone else. He couldn't even tell um, Mamuti's character about uh, his his brother and his past. But that little girl was kind of a his his uh, his uh, person to trust, and I liked the, the dynamic a lot. Yeah, yeah, it, it really accented the for me the heart of it is that nature versus nurture aspect of the character of Surya because he's. At one time, he's got this deep moral code of Robin Hood and protecting the poor. And he, you can tell there's this goodness inside of him. And then on the other hand, he can be freaking evilly rough. Yeah. And that sense of repentance he has, and the shame he feels toward that, I just, I think it's such a great character. And it reminded me so much. I would love to know what Anya Kashyap feels about this film because it really feels like it's a film that in his library of films, he's like, yeah. That I wanted to make movies like that when I was a yeah. kid. I saw that movie and I'm like, yeah, I want to make a movie like that. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the violence. You know, I love violence. Uh, I <laughs> that was great, that was, great shirt. It <laughs> almost reminded me of like the the end when he was going Rambo in um uh, what's his the, that guy that he was going to kill in the end. I forget the character's name. Um, but uh, it was almost like uh the end of Django when 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 he came in and just shot everybody up in the house and it was all yes. like extremely oh like the guns like that he was just carrying a pistol but it shot somebody back like 10 feet yeah. uh, um so i i really because it almost shot because i didn't expect when the violence did happen it was extremely violent a lot of times and it was graphic mm -hmm. people's fingers got blown off and yeah. it made me very happy <laughs> and, it's, and it's one of it's one of those points where the the quick editing and the yeah. raw editing fit because yeah. you're, you're kind of surprised how we see how Deva dies and then it's this cut and he's going berserk and this yeah, yeah. it's, it's it yeah. worked in that and way yeah for and sure there was there was also a little detail that I liked a lot um, when when um, Surya is beating up Ramana at the beginning of the movie mm -hmm. in this beautiful rain scene he's kicking him off of some roofs he's falling one roof oh yeah the next that was good stunt work right there. And later, when Surya is about to to get married to his now widow, he goes the same path up again, and you can still see the bumps in the roofs. Oh! So he goes he goes to the wife, nice. and he has of course this this bad conscience, this um, because he killed her husband. Yeah. And he's Aww. feeling guilty about it, and you can still see the the bumps in the roofs. And I thought that was amazing, a great detail. Great yeah, I, I didn't I didn't notice that. That's that's great. I on that note though that that uh what was her name the actress's name that played um his his wife in this uh ban banu priya i think is the name uh yeah she i played Padma. yeah i thought she nice. did a really good job even though like she was extremely small her and her daughter and rajnikanth's di dynamic i thought was really good and then i also thought rajnikanth's mom's husband uh mm. i thought he did a really good job i i don't know that actor's yeah. name either um uh, uh what was it I don't know. I, I, was it Charlie? I don't know. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. I thought he did well. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought the, the the stunt work again, the way he directed it, he really went out of his way to make sure that a lot of the things were done in such a way where the, the camera's here, the guy hitting's here, so that you didn't see mistakes as much. The slow motion added tension to it. He used that a lot. And I thought that one scene falling down the roof was really, really good. Good stunt work. Simple stunt work is usually the most difficult to pull off. And then score wise, we talked about the songs. I mean Love all the songs, but I felt that the totality of the score, um, even some of the more melodramatic things that often doesn't work, I, I thought they worked. I, I thought, for the most part, the, the score was pretty epic and complimentary throughout, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. The, the main the main theme or this let's call it love theme between uh, Surya and yeah. his mother is great. It's, it pops up every constantly. every constantly. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's pretty. It, it reminded me of the of the main theme of Nayakan. Hmm. Uh, I don't I know if you seen we that have, one. We haven't seen that, but I know about that film. I think, yeah, and he used he used uh, the theme in that movie also constantly, and it works. Hmm. It works so well. It's 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 so it's so emotional, and it's nice that it um, has this connection to the train, to the sounds of the train, because you hear you hear this this train, and then it's the the connection, and the and the theme starts. You always have this connection to his childhood, and that's great, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. as was the connection of the festival, the fact that he yes. was thrown mm -hmm. out during this festival that's known for being a festival where you throw out the garbage. I thought that was really yeah. good writing. Yeah. Uh, and I know you guys uh, usually uh, do this on your channel. What, what rating would you give this one? Uh, <laughs> probably for me a very close eight. Eight, okay. And eight. you, uh, Dennis? Uh, I'd give it a seven. Seven. Yes. Rick, what yeah. would you give it? We don't do this, but <laughs> yeah, we don't. Well, I can tell you where I, what I give it in terms of the ten Tamil films that we've seen. It's in my top four. It's right up there for me with ninety six and mm. Hey Ram. And uh, yeah. I actually, for me, I really like Bombay, but this one, but I think that providential connectivity and the rawness of it gives it a, just an edge for me above Bombay. Oh, really? No, I still like Bombay. I like Bombay, probably Roja still more than mm -hmm. I like than I like this one. Uh, but I did, I did uh, like this film. I'd probably give this a seven point five out of uh, out of ten. <laughs> I can do that. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Yes, I give it a solid eight, maybe an eight point one, just a little bit more than Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know what the next Hamel and uh, Rajnikanth film. Uh, do you guys know what you're watching next? Do you want to promote anything that you're? What's going on in your channel? Um, Jimmy. we are. I'm uploading a review of a Mohan Lal movie on Friday because it's his birthday, birthday on Friday, and okay. I'm going to review um, Kalapani, I think is okay. the name. Yeah, and um, it, today it, I want it, to. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought you were done. Go ahead. And today, <laughs> and today I want to watch the Kanan, I think, the new Tamil. Oh, yeah, how was it? It's no, I, I'm going to watch. Oh, it yeah, after you're this. going to watch so, it. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, no, what I was gonna say for a lot of you stupid babies who don't know this. The, the channel, your guys' channel, you don't react to stuff like we do and do reviews. You guys are just knocking out movies one after the other and watching and reviewing. And how, how many re movies are you guys reviewing every week? At least, what? Three? Uh, Five or six? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe it seems that way. No, no, usually usually three. Three, yeah. But three I'm, movies, I'm, only, yeah. I'm only in for one, one per week. <laughs> but how many do you watch a week? I know you only review. You release three. Yeah, we're, we're trying We're trying to, to plan ahead. And usually I watch maybe five, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Love it. Well, if you haven't subscribed to them, I'll, I'll link their uh, channel in the description below and let us know what's the next film we should watch is down below.